Yes, that's what we're looking at tonight. My favourite things. Not necessarily favourite things, but things we couldn't live without. And it's apropos of uh, the invention uh, of uh, something special in our lives. Uh, well, yes, the Holden Cow was launched this week in 1948. And so, uh, tonight we're talking about things you can't live without. Well, I suppose that's a long though, isn't it? Just to say a car was invented. Uh, but, but more than that, little quirky things that we couldn't live without. Yeah, tell me what, what's well, important to you. Well, to get out of bed, you have a, a shave. Now, with a razor that was years ago cutthroat, and you had to, to mm -hmm. sharpen it yourself on a strap. These were the uh, the, the five, uh, what are they called? The oh, the Mark II blades, you yeah, like them? Mild. And Gillette Fusion and blades. There's one with about five blades. Yes, it's yes. the smoothest shave I've ever had. Also vibrates if you put batteries in it. Oh, I can, oh I've never done that. Oh, yes. It's give you, you just slip it in the end, do you? It gives your face a massage at the as same well, time. As well, as oh. razors. Oh, yes. Goodness Good mornings me. begin with Gillette. So, uh, you know, the obvious is the microwave when mm -hmm. you get down and you want to warm up some milk. And they're cheap, eh? You buy a microwave for $50. You, you, can good buy, guys. You, you can buy a flat screen television for about 500 now. Oh, yes, or even less if it's a small screen. Amazing. Yes. I saw the good guys had a 3D plasma 50 inch TV for under $1,000. Yeah, I saw the same. Great value. So that's come down, hasn't it? About 800. Oh, yes. Uh, and also, when you're sleeping, the answer phone is absolutely essential. Uh -huh. You don't miss any messages there, right. and you can always ring them back. Yes. The mobile phone, obvious as it is, but All right. we went for years without anything like that. Yes. And uh, now you're in touch with the world. Okay, well, perhaps no. overly much. Maybe so. And uh, I find the credit card is just so yeah. easy. Oh, that's a good list. We overlap with just one, my phone. I couldn't live without my phone. And the other four on my list are things I couldn't live without my home. Oh, yeah, but that's not an invention. I mean, everyone's lived in caves. Okay, well, so that's right. not an okay, so let me replace that with my car. I'd be lost without my car. Yeah, uh, my radio, my books, and my records. They're five things. I'd be hard pressed to live without. So have a little think about some unusual mm. aspects of your life, or mm. things that perhaps not everybody has, but you find it absolutely essential in your business and your running of the home and family to have this uh, invention in your life. Yeah, my list might have been a bit obvious and boring. No, right? mine was too. Mine mm. boring as all get out. Yes, I'd come up with something original. So something a bit quirky that's in yeah. your life. And we'll yes. ask you to ring in after ten. Yeah. We've got some hams to give away, some beautiful mm. Pataki hams for Christmas. No. Um, and shows, and see by Andre Ria, uh, Greg Arthur, and uh, Frank Sinatra. Oh, it's a big night for prizes. It's a big night for for, uh, for content too. And uh, <laughs> spinning that off is Rod Quantock. Hello, Rod. Hi, Percy. How, How are, are you, you, Rod? Yeah, good, good to hear thank from you. Oh, that's the way. Now, if any if anyone would have some quirky ideas in their mm -hmm. lives for inventions they couldn't live without, it'd be our Quantock. <laughs> that's me, absolutely. Are we ready? Yeah. What's the first? Okay, band-aids. I'm a really clumsy person and I would die without band-aids. Wouldn't we all? I think that's great. You get a little cut or a nip mm. or a, uh, a splinter on the band-aid, uh, away yeah. with the pain. Patches and spots and strips. Yeah. Okay, beautiful things. You can't go anywhere without them. My book of medical uh, <laughs> medical cures, I'd have to go there because uh, I plan as I get older to become a hypochondriac. That's the way. So, yes, yeah, yeah. so I'm just going to start at the A's and I'm going to make myself through. Yeah, but I'll have to probably stop at Alzheimer's. I think I'll forget it all. all right. Yes, yeah. yeah, so we'd have to have that. Um, shoes are really important. Mm -hmm. Whoever invented shoes, and I don't know who it was, deserves a kiss and a cuddle from everybody on the planet. I yeah. wouldn't go anywhere without my shoes. No. Okay. Very, very important. Um, and look, I don't mean to be indelicate, but again, whoever invented underwear, that person deserves a kiss and a cuddle too. Mm -hmm. I'd never go anywhere without my underwear. No. And I don't care what the future holds, and I don't care that they're made in China. I just wouldn't go anywhere without them. How many am I up to? Uh, that's uh, three. Band-Aids, shoes and underwear. Okay, and uh, then I would have to say, uh, my original 45 record of how much is that doggy in the window. Oh, Paddy Page, yes. Yes, brings joy to everybody who hears yeah. it. <laughs> and look, wherever you are on the planet, you put that on and, well, you're everybody's hero. If you've got underpants on. 
Mm. <laughs> you got underpants on that trot. I was thinking of going to Africa where they've never heard of underpants. That's right. Oh, oh. how much is that doggy in the window oh. and a pair of bonds? I could be king. Yeah, could too. Oh, I could be king. And uh, I'm up to five. I've got, my, I've got to think of my fifth one now, don't yeah, I? Yes. And I, look, I thought about phones and I thought about cars and I thought about all those sorts of things. But to be perfectly honest, and this has be my only really serious one, is a biro. Whoever mm. invented a biro, that's a great, great thing too. Yes, it is, when yeah. you think about it. Yeah, that's, a, that's, that's an interesting, interesting one. Got one. How many have you got on the desk in front of you? That would be about all we'd need, right? Yeah, I think three or four biros. Oh, and oh, of course, you meant suggestions. <laughs> Yeah, and three AW, but only when Bruce and Phil are on. Oh, come on. Rod. No, he means it. No, last time I he saw you... Mean it. He absolutely does mean it. Last time we saw each other was at a book launch down in Caulfield. Yeah. For Etty Bryce, if you recall. That's right, indeed. Yeah. What are you up to, yeah. Rod? Oh, look, I've just come back from Tewton today. I've been up at Tewton doing an art auction for their local swimming pool. Right. Beautiful spot and up there. It's a lovely spot, but uh, they undermine it all because Tewton has Australia's only ugly man competition. Oh, no. They do, and then they put their faces on bottles of Tewton ugly man wine. <laughs> no. So uh, <laughs> we've all got to make a living. So I'm on. just travelling around here and there and uh, entertaining people wherever I can. That's the way. Oh, good. Now, just for fun, you wouldn't have made a list, but uh, Bruce and I were talking during the news about things you bought that turned out to be absolutely useless and oh, ended up on the nature strip? Uh, straight away, foot spa. Yeah, yeah that's a good yeah, one. Absolutely, absolutely useless. All you get is very wrinkly toes, yeah. and then you have to wear shoes. Yes, sure. so, and lots of band-aids. Do, do you remember the vertical grill? Mm. Oh, yeah, I do remember the vertical <laughs> grill. I never bought one. Oh, the other one, I suppose, is the waffle maker, too. Yes, remember? the ja yeah. Jaffel iron. Yep, and the ice cream making machine. Yes. Oh, and the pizza machine. Hang on. <laughs> oh, let, let me just go through my kitchen again. The world is full of that stuff that everybody thinks they need, and suddenly as soon as you try it, you burn yourself or you burn your chop and nothing works. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hard rubbish nights. That's yes. what they make that stuff And that, that yeah. is one that would be the top of most people's lists, the bread maker. Oh, yeah, never bought one of those. Mm. I just thought it was much easier to buy it from a shop, <laughs> yeah. put my shoes on and go. But yeah. no, the hard rubbish, I think that's what it's all about. I, I buy that stuff because we have hard rubbish, and if you don't put anything out, uh, people get angry. One year they took my fence. So oh. I just buy that. <laughs> <laughs> it out. They can have that. Good oh. stuff. Mm. All right, Rod, thanks for that. Oh, no, that's okay. I, I, I wait to listen to what real ordinary people uh, think are the five most important things in their lives. If they say husbands and wives, cut them off straight away. Uh, I will. Mm -hmm. I'll get a Good seven second delay. All right, mate. Thanks, gentlemen. Thank you, Rod, Good very night. much. Rod Quantock, one of our mates, and uh, yeah. some uh, good suggestions there. Yeah, a very likeable yeah, bike. But then it? there's the stuff that, you'd, that, that is destined for the nature strip, mm. you know? Uh, the, as, as Rod mm. said, the foot spa mm. and the vertical grill. Maybe the drink heater these days. <laughs> it's maybe. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, perhaps one of those chairs, those wooden chairs, what are they made of? Oh, deck chairs, are they? Deck chairs, yes, yeah. with, the, with the canvas ripped. Yes, and, and what about the, 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 the cane chairs, which oh, were yeah. very popular in the 50s. Yes, they were, they can probably still buy those in uh, bamboo shops. Um, I'll tell you something that would be useless today. One of those toasters where you had to open the toaster and turn it over yourself. Yeah, they're the most reliable of the lot. They'll Be go forever and oh, a day. Before the pop-ups. They were, that's one product that you go through, you stuff at home, and it's the toaster, yeah. which will be the oldest in any yeah. house, in any kitchen. I suppose because you don't use it much, do you? Well, you use it every morning. Yeah, but just for a couple of minutes. Yeah, but you, so use, you use it more than anything else in the kitchen. Unlike your fridge, which is on all day, it's yeah. only on for five minutes, isn't it? Yeah. So I guess uh, you've probably still got a toaster from your wedding days, have you? Wedding present, perhaps? I don't know. But uh, we'll take some calls.